Hi everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Dishonored. So, in the previous episode, we managed to escape prison and go through some sewers. And now we met Samuel and he took us here. Actually, he didn't... Ah! Whew, he scared me. He didn't necessarily take us here. Uh, we broke into this house, kind of. <laughs> kind of. And we were actually supposed to follow him, but I'm just... I don't know. I, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. We might have just come here anyway. I don't know. A Gaffer Steel Volume 1. Excerpt from the travel journal for Young Whaler. A Gaffer Steel Volume 1 or a Gaffer's Early Adventures. My sister Nina and I left uh, Taivia together, saying goodbye to her aunt, the woman who has raised us since childhood. Leaving behind our home city of Yarrow and the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known, we boarded a ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small important shop dedicated to Tivian verse. Once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell and it, I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so, as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale, being pulled by a skein of cables embedded in his thick flesh, jeez. I changed more in those first seven months than I had in the previous seven years. Waiting was beginning to put its mark on me, so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned. Tanned and sinewy with muscle, weathered creases already wrinkling the corners of my eyes. But she could see that I was filled with joy, having found my purpose. It's so sad that later on, he lost that complete sense of purpose again then. Admiralty and the Fleet, excerpt from a book on naval history. While each of the isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Crystal, with his long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them. Boys come of age in the cities of Crystal, hoping to someday captain such a ship. And family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or crush sedatus uprisings as during the Morley insurrection. In times of war and peace, Gristle continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allowing crews to hold their kill over the deck and begin their butchery and processing, even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest wheel as the ship moves slowly to the Renhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies such as the Grease Whaling House. Suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to its final resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. I feel so sorry for the whales. I'm really sorry for them. Havelock Log Entry 1. It has been days since our men were dispatched to sesh weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeed in getting the packages delivered. Piero spends considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. Thanks! I appreciate it. We also have an audio graph player. There you go. Log entry 1 4. It seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. The Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible. Ah, to the point. We need a man who can kill the bastards for us. <laughs> more than but I don't want to kill them if I can. And Bob. This off. Switch. Switch. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Oh, wait, is that a book as well? Yep. Yeah. A Gaffer's Tale Volume 2. Excerpt from the Traveler Journal of a Whaler in His Final Years. A Gaffer's Tale Volume 2 or A Gaffer's Final Passage. After more than a quarter of a century, I am done with whaling. Too broken to continue. I've seen all the corners of the Isles and made more coin than most men. Wait, we've, we've read this one. The world has been to me. Yeah, we've read this one already. So you can find them throughout the world in multiple places oh that's gonna be difficult i need to remember what i've read and what i haven't yet it's gonna test my memory 
Do not attempt to approach or else. destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so I don't are think... considered state Do we want to go down here? Let me just check for a second. I kind of want to see if we want to go down here. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, that's a lot of coin. That, that's another coin. Oh my god, I'm going to miss all of these coins. They're just sporadically here as well. I'm definitely going to miss them then for sure. So I'm really wondering if this is a level or not. So many places to go and I haven't even talked to Samuel yet. But I'm guessing he probably would have taken me in here. That would make sense, right? <laughs> I think. Let's see. Let's explore this place a bit further then. Another room. Inchman decor plate. But you just get money for it. Okay, cool. Okay, we have another one of these. My furnishings have been installed at last with no small amount of complaining by that antiquated boatman. The others have no idea what it's like to suffer as I have. Mm. Speaking of which... Wallace, please breathe two bottles of Dunwall Red, never mind which, and fetch a clean <laughs> glass. <sighs> Sounds like well, you're suffering. I'll begin again tomorrow. <laughs> Has his own butler, but is definitely suffering. Poor guy. <laughs> Let's go up first then. There's so much happening, jeez. So many places to go. Oh, I cannot deal with things like this, guys. Because I always want to explore everything. I don't want to miss anything. So if you give me such a big place to explore, that's problematic. <laughs> Corvo's chambers. Oh, this is my chambers. Ooh, why that sound? They even left some money for me. How nice. How nice of them. Can I upgrade this over time? That would be cool. That would be really cool if that's the case. Okay, this leads us back to the roof, where I originally wanted to be, and that accidentally fell down. <laughs> okay. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late empress is required to speak to the city watch at once. But it wouldn't be surprising if she isn't alive anymore, right? Because why would her doctor up uh, doctors keep her alive? So it seems like we kind of have a home base that we could hello may return to. Uh, at certain times? I don't know if that's true, but it seems like it. Now let's see. Oh! We can even climb down there if we want to. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna we talk to Samuel. Later, <laughs> Man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Howard. I left Samuel outside. My bad. Of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. Pendleton, I we've heard about him. Little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion. I don't think we are if you say that. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight. And in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, okay, that sounds good. You must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. So who's Piero? Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go Ooh. talk to him and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. That sounds good. I just kind of want to see... No. Oh. Where I left Samuel. <laughs> Where did I leave poor, poor Samuel? <laughs> oh no, the poor guy. I don't know where I left him. <laughs> The old port district okay, well, I guess we just move on, but not before I steal everything that I can possibly steal in this place. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances huh? will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay okay, so which stay door did we come from? Not this one. Oh, this is where Samuel was waiting, I think. Yeah, this is where he was waiting. And there's Pio. Okay, let's talk to him then. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work 
for you. Looks nice. I will create the tools of a master. I like that. I like that a lot. No, this cannot <sighs> happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Yes, we have to fetch Will you a new one. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. I will do that. I just need to find everything that I can and steal your things. <laughs> Ooh, a book. Sockle of Technology and a New Age. Extra from a recent book detailing so uh, Sokolov's machines. One of the advantages of Sokolov Technologies is that they share the same magnetic socket for the tanks of processed whale oil they use as fuel. When a tank is exhausted, another can be plugged into place with ease, and the process is simple enough that any common workman or even the lower guardsman of the city watch can handle the task. This applies to the arc, pylon, and wheel, wall of light security systems, as well as the powered carriages used for transport by those few who are wealthy enough to afford them. The only obvious downside of Sokolov's designs is the velocity of the tanks themselves. A few incidents have occurred, resulting in damage to property or bodily harm whenever one of the tanks has exploded. Ooh, okay. That isn't good. Rhinestone. A letter. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powder crystal? Tivian ore? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. We've found at least Tivian ore and King Sparrow feathers. Maybe at the academy everything you need was paid off by Tarif and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, billing materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm not footing the bill, I will not approve your purchases unless they're absolutely required. No, oh, well, I'm footing the bill. No more copper wire or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one's going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Admiral Havelock. A second solution, excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from a prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin? Is that his name? Joplin? It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, so does Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose if you must know the truth. The public has spoken his usual message of idiosis, uh, idiocy, spending their coin as a means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal if not superior. Much has been made of the popularity of these concoctions as a mean of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the city of Dunwall, is unrivaled by its effect in its effectiveness. I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it is nearly perfect, elegant effect. So it is actually a plague, not just the rats. Okay. And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own proper has properties, not fully understood, which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to this contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on the brute animal body, is a crass goo, better suited for livestock. The subtle and secret variants, a variance in the key ingredients make up Piero's remedy ensures that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue jot hagfish swimming in the Ren Haven River. Okay, clearly he finds that his own is better. <laughs> what a surprise. That one is empty. A new yeah, yeah, I'm bringing it up for you. I'm sorry. Jeez, trying to be kind. That's empty. Wow, so many books, guys. That counter responsibilities. Extra from a menu on the new City Watch procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the debt counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters of uh, addict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations relating to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late stage plague symptoms, called weeper okay, those are weepers in common parlance. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and if accepted for the two week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and one and a half month. Great. Normal pay grade. There you go. 
and then this one phil experiments excerpt from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by piero joplin of course i have attempted to improve upon sokolov's designs of course and why not after all it's likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time together at the academy we are all part of a community striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by how does one say it our intellectual subordinates sokolov is no ex exception to this despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the uh, aristocracy and further it is true that many of experiments have failed no need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself great ambition requires risks you may laugh now my door to nowhere but someday you will not your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night but a few short years ago you would have laughed at sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Yee. Oh, that's not what I wanted. My bad. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in philosophy. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 inch in length. I estimate she weighed... I don't think 42 inch. <laughs> I think... 42 something. I don't know. I don't know these things, guys. I'm sorry. I'm European. <laughs> I estimate she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her threshing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Jeez, okay. Whale oil processing. Excerpt from the founder of the Grease Wheelhouse by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secured a beast with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Boys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven, drive, uh, driven? <laughs> through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on a great creature, slicing off the fattiest parts while it still lives. Why? Why while it still lives? That's awful. Whale oil refill uh, refilling station. Sokolov no longer has the upper hand with regard to supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce an empty vessel for filling. When the empty tank is held near the oil tank refill pump, the magnetic extractor uh, tractor should take the tank and lock it in the correct configuration. Using the lever will begin the refilling process. Once refilling is completed, the tank can be removed and placed in service. Extreme caution must be used in handling the full tanks. They are quite unstable. The system is sound and well engineered. It appears that the Greaves Oil Company has done something correctly for once. <laughs> nice. Okay. The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject in That sounds like a brutal experiment. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so now we have to be careful with this. Apparently. Perfect. Now plug it in. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. You're welcome. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror. Ooh, look at that! Precise. <gasps> there. Can you see normally? Lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. 
upgrades for your gear, yes, weapons, please. munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Yes, please. Yes, please. Tell me what I can make. Can I craft things now? Yes! Woo! Let me have a look. Yes, please. Ooh! Crossbow bolt, sleep bolt bullets, spring razor. Trap that can be placed on nearly any... Oh, service. Okay, grenade and rewire tool. Allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Consumed on usage. But that, those are purchases. I want upgrades. Crossbow accuracy. Lower dispersion and stabilizes crossbow aim. Crossbow range. Okay, faster and further. Crossbow reload. Oh, enables auto reload. Okay, and faster reload. Combat sleep dart. Sleep dart sedative effect is immediate, even in combat. Oh, that's cool. Corvo's pistol. So I kind of want that probably, right? Because I don't want to take out the guys too much. Uh, like, not kill them. Corvo's pistol upgrade allows pistol upgrades and adds a short range spread damage. Spring razor, sword crossing. Makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. Mask optics. Allow you to magnify your view. Press all to zoom. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Bullet capacity, bullet capacity, grenade capacity. Kind of want how much money do we have? Oh, we have a lot. Let's buy this. So now we can zoom, right? And then I also want this one. I want that effect to be immediate. There we go. And then... I think I want some more accuracy. There you go. Okay, that's cool. We have these things now. Amazing. How many sleep bolts do we have? Three. I'm gonna buy like two more. I don't know. I'm spending all of my money, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll you get some more money. <laughs> I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. Ooh, you that's great. Rest. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> uh, I would like to look around a little bit well. more. Know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Thank you. Read the craftsman tutorial. Piero can craft and upgrade gear with the money you collect. Bringing collected blueprints to Piero will allow you to unlock new upgrades to buy. These services can be accessed by talking to Piero at any time. Okay, cool. Now, uh, can we open this? Unbreakable door. Can I open it? Okay, this just brings us back here. I think we've been here already, right? Yeah, okay, that's where those stairs led. Yeah, we're starting to slowly make our way around. River traffic is forbidden from oh. landing in the distillery district oh. due to risk of infectious contact. I don't know what happened there. Violators will be taken Even to the Piero. flooded district Good. for treatment and You'll rehabilitation. Want to get some rest You'll be needed soon. Yes, soon, soon, soon. But I haven't checked downstairs yet. I kind of want to check there first as well. This, this area is also interesting, but I guess I can do that later. But I want to check down here. Because this looks interesting. It's really, really interesting. And maybe we can find some more money, because suddenly we have a use for the money, which is great. See? I need to get to another three or four hundred, I think, to buy something else that I want to have. Because I want to also improve the crossbow a bit more, that I can shoot further. Old port district sewer key needed. Okay, we don't. Oh, I kind of want to look through the keyhole. Huh. We might get there later then. Do not attempt to house or care for a friend oh. or family member who there shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Mm. Yeah, that means they might have been bitten by rats, maybe? That's why they say that? Oh. Yeah, okay, so, but that's okay, because we can get there from another way. Let's see if there's anything else here. We'll go to bed soon, and then we'll continue the story. I just, I really like exploring, guys. <laughs> I really like exploring. I think we shouldn't want to drop down here. That's probably not going to help us. Maybe some other point. We'll probably get back here as well, I think. 
Look, that's also interesting. I don't think we've been there, have we? Okay. Let's look around here for a second. This just brings us back to the same spot, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, it does look like the doors that we use stay open, so that's pretty nice. And I think this is mostly closed off, all of this, so that's good. Then we can just try to get all the things and all that. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Does that mean there were infected people in there? Did they put a cross because of that? Find an apartment key needed. Okay, so I need to find that. Probably also not openable. No. Attention this. Dunwall citizens. Be advised, the river crust infestation has spread downriver, as far oh. as the river mouth and flooded district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go to bed now then. I feel like we've explored most of the things that we can explore. I think. How do I get back to my bed again? This way works, I think? And then we need to go is further up. Dangerous? Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Of I'm course sorry, he didn't. it's so dark. People we are can't foolish risk being and believe seen. whatever they're told. It is a bit romantic, okay. though, isn't it? If the Admiral trusts him, then so will I. Boo! <laughs> you talking about me behind my back? <laughs> the Celia, Admiral you want to talk? The Admiral Navy under the Empress. But something happened with the Lord Regent that drove the Admiral out. If I understand it right. Hmm. Okay, she doesn't want to talk. You want to talk? Please follow me to your quarters. Okay. Oh, I can strangle him if I want. Oh no, kill him. That's kill. No, I don't want to kill him. So I can kill good people as well? Oh no. That's gonna be very problematic. I might accidentally click buttons. That could definitely happen. I actually found my quarters by myself already. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I guess I go to bed? This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rest. It's been quite a day. There you go. Uh, I'll go to sleep now. There we go. Check your journal. Oh. It's so fast. The lower screen is so fast. Somewhere else. Interesting. Somewhere else. The candles are so strange. Are those the ward of the rats? Yeah, this is somewhere else indeed. Something's not right? Yeah. A visit from the outsider. So there's also a game called Dishonored the Outsiders, right? I think. I think that might be the newest game, but I'm not sure. I really don't know. Okay, that's not good. Are we dreaming or... Is this real and we've teleported somewhere? Or is this in our mind but not necessarily dreaming? Hmm. Hello, Corvo. Oh, hello. You Your look life very has creepy. Taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. The void. I am the outsider. And this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve Ooh, you. Ooh, we're getting our powers! Use this newfound <gasps> power. My gift to you. Come find me. Ooh, that's exciting! A visit from the outsider, let's see. Press the button to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Okay. Hold to target, uh, so we can do it one press to do it fast, or we can hold it to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your destination. Okay. Interesting. 
Well, let's see. There I go. I can hold it to do like that. So I don't see a blue arrow. It doesn't show me that I will climb up. Interesting. Oh, kind of. Oh, there you go. This is so cool. This is really, really cool. We have special powers now, guys. This is so cool. Wow, we're so fast now. I was already like a little bit annoyed that we were quite slow with the walking. That doesn't matter now. But so we do have a little bar that needs to fill up again. Okay, interesting. Well, guys, we are going to play with this next time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am really, really into the game so far. I am really enjoying it and I hope you guys are too. If you are, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.